Artificial intelligence is neither artificial nor intelligent. It's collective, it's powerful, and it's brutal. It's not intelligent. These algorithms do not exhibit an inch of sentience or awareness. Okay, we're talking about glorified, powerful statistical models, but that runs on very, very powerful computers that are capable of creating huge asymmetries of power. It's one individual versus a supercomputer in trying to understand certain behaviors. Well, if I look at the work of AI governance and governing the rise of AI, I think there are a few key questions, a few key challenges. Number one, the base of evidence, policy evidence over what works, what doesn't work, what is needed, what is not needed, is very shallow. So in building the governance of AI, the, the right metaphor, I think, is that you have to fly the aircraft while building it. Why I use the aircraft metaphor is because you don't want to crash the aircraft. You can't crash the aircraft. Everyone dies. The aircraft is uh, the essence of a critical function. So it's something sensitive. AI is the same thing. The stakes are very high. And flying an aircraft as you're building it is something which is impossible to do. And yet you have to do it. So the base of understanding of AI uh, across society, across government, is very uh, limited. We don't share the same diagnostic. For some, AI is only machine learning. AI is only deep learning, reinforcement learning, which is a very small and narrow branch of um, computer science. For some other, AI includes the entire set of uh, algorithmic processing. For some other, it's the latest evolution of big data, the way in which we, we process data. So the base of understanding and the base of Common understanding and common taxonomies is very limited. If you don't understand what you're supposed to govern, how can you govern it? And, and this problem is very current. Right now, the European Parliament is discussing the European Union AI Act, which is the first legally binding piece of legislation that is in discussion in a big market to try and regulate AI, defining a number of use cases which are risky, like hiring and firing, like facial recognition and regulating what can be done, how it can be done and what cannot be done. This revolution is truly global and uh, the governance of that revolution has to be global too. And so engineering the right level of coordination and concentration and consolidation at the level of the, the, the continental market is both a duty but a key challenge. There is too much at stake. It is of primary importance to first empower the state to be a bit more unbalanced, at par with global companies. And that's why we need governance. But do citizens trust the state? No, they don't. The epistemic crisis has, has, has reached such a level that as demonstrated by the, the Freedom Convoy in Canada, the Yellow Vest movement in France, we have a deep distrust of the citizen base versus government, versus power in general. And so creating an Closing the gap between citizens and consumers and these global corporations and the, re the global regulators is extremely difficult, but it's very much needed. It won't happen in one day, will not be perfect, will be dirty, will be messy, but it's, but it's very much needed. And one maybe example as to how, how would that practically happen, in which kind of uh, tangible interface would that translate? You and me, today, as we access these platforms, we sign up invariably on terms of use that are invariably composed of dozens of pages that no one reads. You don't read them, I don't read them. Why? We don't have time. So we tend to end in a situation where trust is extracted from us out of an imbalanced power asymmetry. And so how, how can we make that change? In my view, if the right cocktails of hard regulation standards and self-regulation at the level of companies is un unfolded the way we would like it to unfold, you will end up in a situation where distress is not ex extracted. You still don't have to read, but you know that your rights and your interests are better served.